Hey guys, welcome back. So until now we had been looking at uh, adding different kinds of requests, right? So we have seen how to add a get request, how to add a post request. And then we will, uh, we were kind of manually validating the status uh, response time and the response body, right? But it would be nice if we had some tests which would run after every request, right? So that is provided as a feature in Postman. So when you go uh, into your uh, dashboard, right? And when you are into any particular request, so for example, I have, we have added this GitHub API request. Out of that, uh, we had a request for getting a specific repository, right? So when I go into this uh, particular request, on one of the tabs, there is a test section, right? So once you click on that, it will provide you kind of a body where you can write your own test. Now in Postman, you can write your test in JavaScript. So if you're comfortable uh, with JavaScript, you can write your own tests uh, in the JavaScript language or else. Postman provides you an easy way of doing that, right? So there are some predefined test scripts which are available in the form of snippets code snippets in Postman, right? So you can add these code snippets to form your test for your API requests, okay? So we will be looking at some of these tests uh, in this video, right? So we'll be first validating some of the basic tests which you need to perform on an API request, right? So for example, uh, you need to check the status is 200 status code is 200 right and uh, this is the status code string which is okay so these two are the most basic kind of validations for checking the status of any api request right then the response time so that should be there should be a value a predefined value which and the request response time should be less than that right so that could also uh, be part of your performance test when you send this request multiple times uh, you should notice uh, the trend in your response time right now some other uh, tests which we are going to add is some of the headers right so as you can see here uh, one of the uh, important headers uh, is the content type right so we want to check whether this content type header is present in the response body okay so these are the three to four tests which we are going to perform using the code snippets provided by postman and then in the later videos we'll also look at some of the other uh, snippets which are which are available right so saying that uh, this is a get request and we want to check the response response status right so if you scroll on these snippets, you will find there is a snippet called status code, code is 200, right? So just click on that and it will generate a code snippet for you, right? So this is the two lines which uh, you need to write. Either you can write it on your own or you can generate it using the snippet, okay? So let's understand what it is. So PM stands for a postman object. Now this postman object contains all the information related to your response body or your request, right? So you can retrieve uh, different details from your request or your response body using this uh, PM object, right? Now this has got a lot of functions and out of that test is a function or you can see a method, right? So of this object, okay? So what does it do it lets you define a particular test and it accepts two parameters one is the description now that you can change as per your test so this is fine because we want to check the status code is 200 so the description is fine right and then it accepts a function okay so inside this function now you can have some assertion right so to assert the value of status okay so what, what it is going to do, it is going to check whether the status code value is 200. That is the value which we have provided. So this is the act, uh, expected value you can see. 
and what you get in the response is the actual value so we do a comparison of both right now this assertion is a kind of a bdd assertion language right which postman uses now if you can notice it is a kind of chain of uh, methods which are being used to form an assertion right and it is in the human readable format so it's a kind of bdd language which is being used here you can see here uh, pm dot response is the object right so which contains the response body it will contain all the information uh, which is present in your response body and then to have right so that means to have status means the status will have this particular value which we are passing if it is not it will fail if it does it will pass so that's the whole meaning of this particular test now if you want to understand more on this assertion you can navigate to this site which is chai uh, slash api slash bdd right so it's a bdd assertion library which has got a lot of language chains which you can use to form your test in postman postman uses this language chains in order to form its test right so there are different kinds of assertions which you can uh, perform using this language chains so go through it once if you want to understand more deep into how the assertion library works in postman right so during these videos i'll be explaining some of them but if you want to have a better look you can go to this website okay so saying that uh, now our first test is ready right so let's go ahead and send this request and see if our test passes or fails so how is the sequence of execution right so what happens is when you send any request that particular request will be performed and then after that this test will be performed on that particular response body right so once the response body is received then only the test is run on that response body okay so what happened here once you send this request you will see in test results section right adjacent to your body you will find some numbers right so it signifies how many tests are there and how many passed or failed okay you can also see it in the body of test results that the only test has passed already and the status code is 200 which is the description of the test right now there are different tabs here if you have different tests it will show you how many have passed how many have failed how many have you have skipped right so this is how you can easily write a status check test from the snippet right for any of the get request or any of the requests um, basically for post request uh, this value will change right so i can change this value uh, in this particular test like i can make it 201 for a post request and i can use this test right so any status code you can validate using this particular test which is written in javascript okay so uh, let's have a look at our next test right so what we want to do we want to validate this status code string right so there is a snippet for this so let's scroll down and let's see where is this right so okay status code code name code name has string okay so this is the test um so what code uh, or what string we have our string is okay right for post request it will be created so let's change this and make it okay and we will say code status code name has okay or string is also fine right we are trying to check that particular string so again send your request and you will see now we have two out of two right so two tests and both have passed so uh, assertion is same we are still validating uh, using the two have language chains right 
now uh, we'll add our third snippet which is to validate the response time right so in this uh, the response time is defined as 200 milliseconds but if you look at our test right so it's 550 milliseconds it is taking so if you add this test this is going to fail when you execute it but we will see uh, and then we'll correct our failure right so um this is um kind of different kind of assertion which we are using right here so we are using the pm.expect okay so instead of uh, pm.response.toHave, we are using an expect method here and inside this we are then taking pm.response.response time which will get the time out of the response and then we are using 2b so instead of to have we are using to be below 200 okay so to be will actually give you some more options like uh, below or above right so that you can use so this is uh, uh this is the response time so what it signifies it is it can be any number below this particular value right so that's why you're using to be below as you can see it's uh, pretty easy to understand when you write it in this assertion language right in this bdd language so once we execute uh, we expect it to fail right so let's see yeah so now test results two by three that means two have passed and one is failed out of three right so in the past section you will see both the past tests in the fail section you will see failed right so response time is less than 200 milliseconds assertion error expected 601 to be below 200 right so our actual response time was 601 which is not below 200 that's that is the assertion error now you can see how um, a test can fail right now let's correct this test okay so let's make it 600 and we will tell this is any value less than 600 okay and let's try to send this so this time it will pass because the value is 353 milliseconds now as you can see it is dynamically changing this response time is not con consistent that's why we cannot use to have right so we are using kind of a variable kind of uh, assertion here which is to be below this particular value okay so that's our third test and then if i want to add another check for my header right so we have a snippet um content type header check right so let's go ahead and add this now again this one is having to have header instead of status and we are checking content type now similarly i can check for any particular header right so i can check for content encoding security policy so depending on your api you can actually check whether any particular header is present in your response body right so we are not checking the value of the header we are just checking the header is present or not okay so this uh, is expected to pass right so this is our fourth test and as you can see all our four tests have now passed right so we had we had done different kinds of validation on status checks uh, response time status code content type right so these are the uh, most basic kind of tests you can say which uh, can be present for any get uh, or any kind of request in your postman api right so these are the basic tests which you can add using the snippets so in the next video i'm going to show you um, some of the more test snippets which are which will be actually validating some values on your response body right so until now we have been only checking the headers and status we'll be now entering into the body and we'll see how we can validate some of the parameters here like uh, the name parameter right so it should be of value whatever we have given while creating the repository so that value 
uh, similarly, um, any parameter you can validate. So I'm going to show you some other test snippets which which can actually do that. Okay. So before uh, before we end the session, so I would recommend you right if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and also. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave it on the video and I will surely get back to you. If you find this video is interesting, please join our uh, channel, QA Script, right? You can subscribe to our channel uh, and you will find lots of different videos on different automation tools. Like uh, till now we have added uh, Selenium, Maven, Jenkins, Postman, and there will be more to come, right? So, Keep looking um, into our channel uh, for more videos and happy learning. So see you in the next video.